And John, a very happy Friday to you, a very sad Friday for us. Today is our last day in <laughs> Las Vegas, unfortunately. Yesterday, we spent the entire day talking about the San Diego State Aztecs, and rightfully so. They went to a national championship game. But the cool thing about this joint media day is we also got to catch up with the USD Toreros, who play in the West Coast Conference. Yep. Marcus, Toreros not heading in the same direction as the Aztecs, but they're looking to build on something. Yeah, they are. And here's the thing is you got to go through something to get to something, yep. much like the Aztecs have done in the past and it's okay because even though USC has a young squad and you'll hear from head coach Steve Lavin say that they at least get to build these guys up and I think that's the most important thing that's how you lay your foundation in order to reach big games championships and eventually a national championship these are what the guys had to say looking forward to the mix of returning players with the 10 newcomers and continuing the climb right we want to move up that ladder in the West Coast Conference and um, it's a daunting task but we knew that when we arrived and it was the possibilities that intrigued and, and led to uh, arriving at USD. We're super young, so yeah. it's super fun, different, different, um, different feeling than it has been the past couple years. But I'm just excited, happy for the ride. And how hard is it going to be, or easy I guess for you as a leader, to kind of help these kids, the younger guys, grow into what they need to be in order to you know, throw on the SD? Um, I feel like it'll be, I don't feel like it'll be that difficult. I feel like they already have learned so much uh, up to this point from the summer to now. I feel like uh, they're growing rapidly. I like our personnel. I like the roster. I think we're putting a good foundation in place. And now it's, can we break through in year two or is it year three? Um, and we're looking at it long term, but also we're in the moment in terms of what we need to get done today. So what are the expectations for you guys going into this season? Expectations is progress game by game. At, from the beginning of summer to now, we have improved so much, and we're only going to keep improving from now to the end of the season. So we're going to turn a lot of heads, surprise a lot of people. It's extremely blessed to be going to another season. I'm excited. I feel like we're going to do some big things. What we love is that fresh start, that new beginning. There's the hope, uh, the aspirations and goals collectively as a group in terms of what we want to achieve. And uh, to be able to see the game through young people's eyes and remember what it was like when we were 18, 19 years old uh, on a college campus and part of a team. And so it does give you some pep in your step, a uh, little adrenaline, the vital signs go north as we get closer to playing games that count. That 18, 19 years old for you, just a few I years was ago, say right? Five or Coach six, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just, we're, you know, this is how we get these exclusive interviews. <laughs> And you heard right there, laying the foundation is going to be the most important thing and just taking it step by step and day by day. Rome wasn't built overnight, Jake, and I think we all know that, and that's what you have to do is take every day and learn from it, and that's how you build a championship culture. Yeah, people remember back to when Steve Fisher was mm -hmm. handing out tickets literally to yeah. try and get people into Viejas Arena. Exactly. I'm not saying the Toreros are going to turn into the Aztecs, but building that foundation, as you mentioned. Marcus, both these teams are going to tip off their seasons in early November. For Marcus Greaves, I'm Jake Ariani. John Howard, one last time from Las Vegas. Let's go ahead and send it back to you.